How's it going, guys? It's Thursday. It's 24th. Oh, you've come It's 5.21. It's raining. No good. I don't know, I don't even know what I've been saying this morning guys, I don't know where I'm going with it, I'm struggling. I'm worried that I am diverting my attention of my own health um, by trying to do this vlog. I'm concerned that I will be prescribed or asked to take antidepressants if I go down the route of talking to my GP again. I know I shouldn't assume it's really a, a, quite a hard hurdle to jump over after having so many encounters with a GP. Um, and I think half of it as well is from history that I've had with GPs, not necessarily my own history. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of doubt set in my head this, uh, like this morning, guys, after last night. Because... Um, the way that I interpret things and maybe not always the case of what it was and I'm concerned of just how distorted maybe my I don't know I'm, I'm a little bit worried that my interpretation of things and the way that I'm listening or hearing things is kind of a bit distorted. 
I'm going to go and get a coffee. It's 20 to 6. It's Thursday. It's 24th of May. And uh, I hope you guys are good. I hope you're um, having more success with your life <laughs> than I am right now. But yeah, it'd be a blink of an eye for you lovely people. It's going to be like three or four, well, yeah, four hours until I get back out here. I'm going to try to do my best. And um, hopefully I'll be in a better frame of mind when I get back. I'm hoping in a minute, guys, I'm just tired. Because I do feel absolutely shattered. So, till then, guys. Peace. Absolutely awesome start to the day, guys. I left my cigarettes at home. Unless they've dropped out of my pocket, I have left them at home. Which I really can't see how I managed to do that. I really can't. However, I think I've got some draggy ass back in the door. Which hopefully will get me through. But yeah, I've obviously rolled up the cigarette, grabbed all the bits that I needed food and stuff and uh, cameras I've got everything I didn't pick up my bag my great start I'm glad I got that sort of emergency pack eh? how's it going guys and girls so that was a quick four hours a question that will never arise if it never makes it onto the internet um, but that's kind of a negative. I don't really want it to be that way because I do, I do believe in what I'm doing is worthwhile. Um, even if it is just for my own, for my own eyes, it could be good because it could change my own opinions. Which, uh, if I'm only listening to myself, then I can't say that I was easily led or had it wrong. Well, I can always say I had it wrong because I always doubt myself. But, you know, if anything, if I'm learning from myself, that's a good start, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if I've put this one out there yet. How do you have your wheat bix Cold milk or warm milk? And then secondly, how do you have your shredded wheat? Not shreddies, but shredded wheat. Do you have that with cold milk or warm milk? Be interesting. I've asked this question before. I like my wheat a bit with cold milk. I like my shreddies or my shredded wheat with warm milk. I've been told I'm goddamn mental for that. That's really weird and wrong. It's just me. I think I am mental, weird, and wrong. But. On that note, running away from your problems does not solve them. Definitely won't solve me mental health because I'll take that where I go. But on that note, my lovely people, stay safe, stay focused, stay positive. And I'll see you in another two hours. Till then, later. I've been watching your world from afar. I've been trying to be where you are. And I've been secretly falling apart. So soothing about the sea, you people that live next to it and take it for granted. If you want a place in Aylesbury, you uh, just leave a message in the comments below. And it don't soothe me as much as just listening and watching the sea. Because again, as you will find if you follow this vlog, when I do get to the sea with this camera, you will be absolutely sickened by the amount of time I can spend just watching it come in and go out again. Every wave's unique, every wave is different, and I love watching it. If you follow me long enough, you'll realise that uh, anything's possible in my life, guys, other than success. <laughs> so I do try. But success is still sort of eluding me do try but boy oh boy man my luck sucks out the
I ain't gonna lie. That guy's a ledge. I've only known him a short time, but he's up a ledge. The wind people, so yeah, as I said, catch me in a bit, guys. Hope everything's all good. Stay focused, stay positive for the win. I'm leaving. Alright guys, I don't know how long the camera's gonna last because the battery's pretty low. As always. Oh, I feel like this afternoon I was going forwards and backwards a lot. But nevertheless. Even though I had to do a bit up to then undo a bit to make it work right. Oh, I think I spent more time putting nuts on to take nuts off and then move it about and then, oh, one of them ones. But nevertheless, we're getting there and I didn't let it defeat me. So that was a good feeling, guys. Good day. Means there's no bills. Also, oh no, break too goddamn soon. Andrea, Andrea. So nothing for me. I don't have any money. I don't have any friends. Nobody sends me anything unless I pay them to. This is the most satisfying thing in my work day. Coming through that door, filling them little bad boys off. Oh. Oh. Can you see it? Can you see the steam? I'm sure you could. Right. Just to touch on something, my lovely girlfriend purchased a book the other day. Here it is. We've got Russell Brand, Recovery, Freedom from Our Addictions. It's kind of cool because I've just seen in the background there's a load of text and it's like shopping, uh, online shopping, sugar, chocolate, smoking, Instagram, Twitter, social media, sex, work. I really don't think work is addiction, but maybe it is, obviously. Some people may be addicted to their job. But I'm interested to, um, I like the back. Check this out. Are you a bit, could you not be? Are you on your own going to, I mean, fuck yourself, okay. Definitely has a way with words, that man. But uh, yeah, basically the girlfriend bought it to read through because she's obviously trying to help me with my addictions and issues in my life. I've also ordered a book last night, which is on the way, that was recommended to me. Um, and it's something like mindfulness, uh, a guide to guide to living in a frantic world or something along those lines. Again, I'll show you more when it arrives because I do have something in the post that's come in, so that'll be a bit of a, uh, an unveiling moment. Well, I've let myself down a bit this week because we're already in Thursday and really the plan was to follow up after last week. I think I've done two or three days back to back. I think it was two. I don't want to uh, hype myself. 
but yeah, uh, I almost need to check back through footage to see how many I had. I'm sure I went two days without anything. Again, though, really the deadline is to be not using it by the time I go on holiday. Just so hopefully when I come back, I'm nice and clean, refreshed, and I've had some time away from it, but I've also had things to occupy my mind while sort of facing the hardest days of it. Sometimes it's I've been really good, two weeks, three weeks sort of thing, I haven't indulged in it. And then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, I decide to sort of relapse, if you want to call it that. Obviously, when you're on holiday, you've got new environment, new people, and just sort of exciting and interesting surroundings. And no stress, no work, no um, no responsibilities, other than getting up, putting suntan lotion on, getting to the beach, getting back, eating. You know the sort of stuff you do on holiday. So, um, yeah, the plan is to see this little bad boy through. So, again, there's no real targets that I'm setting myself. Obviously, the recovery is setting me targets. But sort of, uh, it comes down to me to do the hard graft, you know, to actually physically say to myself, nope, don't go and do it, don't go and do it. And then after a little while, my brain will be like, go on, go on, you know, you can go and have one now. It's about time to go and have one. Go on, you've got a little bit of time now, go and have one. Uh, and I have to keep saying no, 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 and find things to occupy my time. So the plan is, as I do feel off shat out of it this year, this week, pardon my French, but sort of let myself down. Uh, yeah, I think next week, next week is the kitty, because that's the start of almost my, I suppose, month rundown sort of three or four weeks left till holiday I think it works out so next week new week hopefully going to it feeling a bit better we've got bank holiday weekend so it's going to be hard because again that'll be like three days of not being at work which usually if I'm not at work I'll smoke more guys I'm going to stop my little uh, waffle there it's 27 minutes straight that's a long waffle that's a big waffle um I hope all is good and your ends. I hope you're trying to do something in the eyes of pursuing a career, pursuing a dream, just actually making the best and the most of the time you have. Thank you for subscribing if you are. If you haven't, you know what to do, guys, if you like what you see. Um, and other than that, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And uh, no doubt I will fire the camera up and again in a little while because I tend to do that. I sign off and then fire up the camera because I'm like, oh, just had an idea. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So nine times out of ten, I have a tendency to go back on my word at most times. So, yeah. But that's me for a bit, guys. So I'm going to go and sort my stuff out, catch up on social media, have a shower. Uh, and then, yeah, as I was saying, I kind of, I wouldn't mind wrapping it up for the day just to get all the data off. Get it onto this little bad boy. Get all the data off of that and that and get it on that. And then hopefully, try to get my head around just getting a short edit. Maybe uh, maybe a 10, 15 minute episode. Because uh, it's a bit awkward at the minute because otherwise I'd ask you guys if I was actually live and online already. But... Um, I'd kind of like to be in a position where I could say, hey guys, how much of me waffling on would you like to see? Because <laughs> at the minute, I'm sort of thinking if it was 20 minutes long, I'd lose you all. Because I know if I was watching me, I'd lose myself. Um, and 20 minutes in anybody's day is quite a lot to a... <laughs> it's quite a lot to a lot, you know, to dedicate that amount of time to catch up on a 20 minute vlog. If you're a busy beaver, it's going to be hard. So I think something like a 10, 10 minute, um, just try to make it exciting and get you the best bits for that 10 minutes. So we'll see though, because again, I keep saying all this stuff, but there's a difference between saying it and doing it, ladies and gentlemen. So on that note, stay focused, stay positive, go for the win. And uh, I'll be back here soon. I ain't going nowhere.